Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I know. I remember that. Was that? <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. That time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, hi, Strong Towers. It's Diana here again, and Wiley. Say hi to everyone, Wiley. Hello. We were just having a bit of a chat. We were enjoying a remembering some funny things there, weren't we? I bet you probably have been chatting to each other at home, haven't you, today already? We talk to each other a lot, don't we? In fact, it's really nice to talk to each other because it helps us get to know each other. We can share how we're feeling or what we're doing. Sometimes we have important things that we need to tell each other. But we don't always talk to each other in words, do we? No. Sometimes we might write a letter to somebody or even send a, a text message on our phone. We might send them a photograph or a picture, mightn't we? Sometimes we might send somebody a piece of music or a song that exactly sums up how we're feeling. I bet sometimes people have even spoken to you through actions or movement. How about this? What if somebody just uh, did that to you? That's a way of just saying, hello, isn't it? And you waved, didn't you, to everybody at the start? Or uh, what if, yeah, you, I tell you what, you sit down there for a second so we can do some more actions. What if uh, your, one of your grown-ups was saying to you, maybe they'd be letting you know, come on, it's time to go. So there are lots and lots of different ways that we can talk to each other. And you know, talking to God is exactly the same. And just like when we talk to our families or our friends or the people that we see out and about, I can talk to God any time. Why don't you try that with me? I can talk to God any time. And that's absolutely true. Not only can we talk to him in lots of different ways, but we can talk to him at any time. And he's always listening. Our story today is about Jesus teaching people how we should pray. And you might know, or you might have heard people calling this special prayer the Lord's Prayer. And this is what Jesus taught us. This says, when Jesus was on the mountain, he taught people how to pray. Jesus said, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Now, I don't know if that prayer is easy to understand or not, but when you get to the bottom of figuring it out, we can see why Jesus taught us that and why it's a great way to pray. And when we want to speak to God, we just because that's a good way to pray, we don't always have to use those exact words because this is what it really means. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Well, that is Jesus giving praise to God. And that's just saying, God, your name is holy. It's just a way of giving praise. And then Jesus says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's just a way of saying, God, we want to do things on earth that please you. We want earth where we live to be just like your kingdom of heaven. And then it says, give us today our daily bread. Well, it doesn't literally just mean, God, please give us some bread. It means 
that we're asking God just to give us the things that we need. Then, forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. Now, when we say this prayer in church, or maybe some of you say it at school, you might have heard it said like this, forgive us our sins or forgive us our trespasses. It's just, both of those are just ways of asking God to forgive us when we've done something wrong and reminding us that he will forgive us, he has forgiven us, and that we should also try and forgive other people when they do things wrong. And then it says, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. So just a reminder there at the end that we can be asking God to help us not to do things wrong and to keep our eyes fixed on him so that we know what is the right thing to do. And then amen there at the end is a great word. It just means, yeah, that's right, I agree. And it's just letting God know that we mean what we've said to him. If that's a lot to remember, here's a simple way that follows what Jesus said, but it might help you remember a little bit more. It is a teaspoon. Now, you might be thinking, Diana, how is a teaspoon going to help me pray? Well, I will tell you. If you ever do any cooking or baking with your grown-ups, then you might sometimes have to put a teaspoon of something in with your ingredients. And in your recipe book, teaspoon is often shortened to T-S-P or tsp. And we can use those initials to help us remember how Jesus wants us to pray. But we haven't just got tsp, we've got a tsp, one teaspoon, a teaspoon. So we're going to use the A as a reminder that we want to praise God. And we're using the word A, a adoration. And adoration means giving praise to God, telling him why we love him. And then we've got T, and T stands for thank you. So we can be thanking God for all that he's done for us and the blessings that he's given us. I bet we can always find something to be thankful for every day, no matter how small it is. Then we've got S, and S stands for sorry. So in Jesus's prayer, he used the word forgiveness, didn't he? And we know that God will forgive us if we come to him and we say sorry. So it's good to come to God every day and say sorry for the things that we've done wrong. And then we have P and P stands for please. We can be asking God for the things that we need. So in Jesus's prayer, he said, give us today our daily bread. So we're going to use the P from teaspoon to remember to say please to God to give us the things that we need. But we can also be saying please God to pray for other people as well and for the things that they need. So next time you're struggling to pray, maybe you could remember a teaspoon and that will help you to pray in the same way that Jesus prayed. We don't need to use any fancy words or any special kind of language at all. In fact, you can talk to God in the same way that you would talk to someone in your family or one of your friends. One of the things that I really like to do when I get up in the morning is just inside my head to say, good morning, God. And it just let, lets God know that I'm thinking about him first thing in the morning. I wonder if there are some ways that you could pray creatively this week, some things that you could have a go at. Maybe you could draw a picture of a teaspoon and it would remind you, you could cut it out, you could colour it in, and it would remind you about praying the way that Jesus taught us. Adoring God, 
saying thank you, sorry, and please. Maybe using those ideas, you could get somebody to help you to write a family prayer. Wouldn't that be great if your family had a special prayer that you could say when you were all together and see if you can include those, a teaspoon things in your prayer. You could decorate it or put it in a, a nice frame or something and display it around your house so that everyone in your family can see your family prayer. But do you remember some of the things that we were talking about right at the beginning after Wiley and I were having our chat and we were saying about all the different ways that you can talk to each other. So if you don't want to use words, why not choose a favourite worship song and you can sing along or you could dance along and that could be a way of talking to God, a great way of ad doing adoration, telling God why you love him. Or you could draw God a picture. You could even have a go at making something as a prayer. So you could get really crafty and creative. So maybe if you wanted to say thank you to God for the spring, you could make a sunshine or you could make a beautiful flower or some kind of animal craft. That would be a great way of doing a thank you prayer to God for all of the lovely spring nature that we can see at the moment. So there are a few things to try for you this week as you think about different ways of talking to God. Because remember, I can talk to God any time and he loves it when we talk to him. So I hope that you have fun talking to God this week and we'll see you all soon. Bye bye, everybody.